you need to start using ChatGPT as part of your A-level exam revision. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how. So in my previous video, I asked ChatGPT to test me on some chemistry, which was specific to the exam board which I currently teach. And, well, it didn't go as well as it could. It's not really too A-level specific. My concern here is... It's going a bit outside of the language that your teachers might encourage you and I would encourage you to use with some of the specifics. But I did discover that it was excellent at suggesting some good revision plans and generating study tips. So this time I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to feed it some chemistry and ask it to prepare some questions that I can use to test myself on the content which I've given it. I've decided to go for the topic of periodicity from the OCRA specification, and so I've prepared this page of revision notes just here. I also had to carefully decide what wording I was going to give ChatGPT as my instruction for what I wanted it to prepare for me. I've decided to go with what you can see at the top just up here. Prepare a set of 12 questions which will help me revise the following information about periodicity. I've not asked it to include a mark scheme. I've tried this before and I actually find that ChatGPT tries to ad-lib a little bit and draw information from across the internet to try and modify what the correct answer might be. And it ends up straying away from the exam board specific language that I've spent time constructing with this page of revision notes. So my first tip here is asking it to associate a mark scheme to this is a little bit of a gamble. What I'm getting it to do is purely test me on the stuff that I know is exam board specific. And what I'm going to do is literally just copy all of this and including the instruction, I'm going to paste it into ChatGPT. So I've put all of that information into here and now I'm going to be really curious for this to see what it gives me back. So let's make it full screen and let's see what it's got. Okay, here are 12 questions which will help you revise the information provided on periodicity. Okay, so it's doing this really quickly. Let's have a look at what we can see here. So, what factors contribute to the decrease in ionization energy down group two, and how did they influence it? Yeah, so that's a good one. Explain the trend in ionization energy across the period. What factors contribute? Yeah, that's really good. I mean, it's not exactly OCRA language for asking you to explain and like describe it, but it's not necessary for that. We really want to just focus on a way of self-testing on the facts. Describe the relationship between electronegativity and atomic properties, such as atomic radius and nucleus charge. Wow, that's a really good one. Uh, discuss the trend in reactivity within the group two elements. How do atomic properties influence this trend? Yep, so that's similar to the other stuff I've put in already, but ionization. Um, explain the variation in pH of group two hydroxides. Down the wow, that's brilliant. It's really gone through what I've given it and found some excellent questions. Compare the structure and bonding of sodium, magnesium, aluminium with those of silicon, phosphorus, and silicon. That's brilliant. That's a great question. I might put that in a test. Um, why does the melting point increase from sodium to aluminium? Yep. Yeah. How does the type of bonding influence this trend? Yeah. Uh, why does silicon have the highest melting point? Yep. Yeah. Explain why the general trend in melting point from phosphorus to argon increased across period three. Why does sulfur have the higher melting point than phosphorus? These are absolutely terrific. The only thing I'm a little wobbly on is question 12, the final one. How does the strength of covalent bonds in influence the melting points of the elements across period three? Well, it really doesn't because the across period three, the only one that has covalent bonds broken is silicon. But the rest of it is a solid effort. Let's see what happens now then. If I'm going to paste it all in again, let's put the word different in here. 12, let's go for 10 more questions, which will help me revise the following information. Let's see if it gives me 10 different ones this time. Let's see what it does now. Yeah, it does. So it gives me slightly different questions this time. Absolutely excellent. So you could get it to keep giving you different ones so you could regularly self-test the same stuff. This is really solid work. I'd use this regularly. If I had a nice bulk set of revision notes, maybe uh, you could pay for these online or if your school or college is giving you some, you could paste these into here and you could easily do some regular self-testing using ChatGPT. I would strongly recommend using this. Thanks very much for watching my video, but before you go, I need some help. Please leave this video a like as it really does help support my channel and the work that I put into these videos. Plus, it helps YouTube know I still exist. 
There's lots of good stuff and links down in the video description, so before you go, please check out those as well, and there's links on screen now to more chemistry content. Until next time though everybody, happy revising.